everybody, it's Christine. It is time for Scrap Lift Craft or Noon. And if you see in the camera here, some photos in a hand, basically I have given my sister the assignment to find me photos for 30 days of sketches. Cause guys, that is coming up on the 1st of October. <laughs> it's like, what month am I? So make sure you're watching and, and uh, watching for the playlist and the links and all the things. Make sure you've liked and subscribed and all so you can kind of see the 30 days of sketches cause that is fun, fun, fun. So today's layout though is by the Scrapping Nerd. Now she's done a Christmas layout. I'm not doing a Christmas layout, but I am inspired by these like starburst kind of stitch lines here. And then she's got this photo and then she's kind of just got this little bat, you know, batch of embellishments on like a shelf, right? I have got my Scrap Room Flavors of the Month, August, 2023. They sent me Spectrum Gardenia, which I had also purchased some of the stuff at convention. So I have some of the little embellishments and things. And so I pulled this out because here's the, the cool little like, it's not real stitching, but it looks kind of like it. And that mixed media there. So I love that. And I had some of the pieces. Now this is my little pack of stuff that came with the kit with the scrap room. So I've got extras I'm just gonna be able to use. And I have a picture of my mama. She got new teeth. She had a, she had a new uh, bridge or something. I forgot what she said. Whatever she got, <laughs> new teeth. So she was real happy with her smile. So I'm gonna make a little layout here. It's a little bigger than the photo in the inspiration. But if I cut it down, I think I lose too much of her face. So I'm not going to do that. So anyway, I'm going to work with this paper here. Now, it came with a couple different sheets here. I'm going to definitely work with this. I don't even know if I'm going to, to use anything else other than this and then the little embellishments because I don't, I'm going to use this for something else. And then it came with like this piece, which I love. I'm not going to do that. I do have black cardstock. So I may, I may go ahead and mount this on black cardstock. So that I can then mount the photo in black. Because that does look kind of cool. So I think I might do that. But I'm going to leave these for another day, y'all. Because these are too pretty. And I don't want to cut into them just yet. So that is what I'm starting with. Give me just a second and I'll be back on. Y'all, this video is so short. Because frankly, all the embellishments and everything just, I mean, <laughs> came together so easily. So I've got the little branding strip that I turned into the little shelf like she had on her layout. I did take a little purple tag thing and put that on the left side of the photo. And I will add in a few minutes a little photo strip piece and then like a little torn notebook looking thing. Now I'm going to use this big floral here, kind of like she used the Christmas tree. And then I went ahead and added this pink card behind it as a kind of the, the base. She had a, um, I don't remember exactly what it was, but she also had some little base pieces behind there. So that's looking pretty cool. And then, uh, you know, she had the Fa La La title, I think is what it was. I'm going to use this Happy Photos. I mean, I know it says photos, but I'm just going to say happy photo in my head. And then here's where I'm pulling out the little piece of colored notebook punch stuff. Um, I'm going to add the little photo strip behind it in just a moment. And then there's that little circle, circular element on the top I've set right there. It's called, it says best ever. And that's going to go where she kind of had a circular element. And then there was little chipboard hearts too, y'all. I mean, it was just the craziest thing. It was like all these little embellishments. They weren't exact by any means. I mean, obviously, but... It's like I had kind of a little, like a complimentary one or like one that looked kind of similar or whatever that, or that gave me the same feel as what she had. And it just came together so easily without even really thinking about it. And honestly, I'm, I'm kind of sad in one sense that I cheat with the little mixed media. On the other hand, I think I'm smart about it because y'all, I, I love to scrapbook and I do scrapbook obviously quite a bit, but it's always kind of in short little bursts usually. Um, you know, again, I'm, I'm usually up in the morning and I usually get 30, 40 minutes or something. So I really, it's really difficult for me to do a real kind of involved process, uh, for mixed media. So the hers was clearly had tons of mixed media on it. And I just, I just was like, I'm not going to be able to get all that done. So I'm happy with this. So I just was really happy. Now she had like a, um, I think was it Holly or some such. She had something on the front of the photo and this little piece here worked out perfectly and there was that little love this. Now I will go off into my stash and get some doodle bug uh, letters, little puffy letters and I'm going to put new smile on the little, uh, what is that? Like a, I don't know what that's called, label. I guess some kind of label. So I put new smile here and then the little tiny bits comes, there was a little selfie. It had selfie as a little, um, good grief. I can't think of the word. The little, enamel dot looking thing but there's a word behind it and it says selfie and that was kind of perfect and then i'm going to get into in just a moment i'll get the little tiny hearts because this collection came with this teeny little hearts and i'm going to kind of sprinkle those around um i don't know that she had that per se but it kind of added something to the layout in my mind so i'm going to add those now in just a moment we're going to have a cameo for mr oreo 
I don't have him just too much longer. Uh, my daughter's going to be coming through in a couple, three days, and they will take him away. And that's going to make me a little bit sad because he's definitely our little bit now. Although, I miss Saturn. She doesn't come out like she used to. <laughs> so, I'm going to be happy with her to be able to come back out. She's so sweet, though. I went in their room yesterday, and she was kind of, she was clearly missing me because she was loving on me and all that. You see this? He has to stretch right over the top of the layout. So, yep, I move him out of the way. Anyways, um, that's almost everything. I don't know that I add, I don't, like I said, those little hearts. I do glue, the, oh, this little heart up here I did add to the circular element. It looks like a little button, um, but it's just paper, so it's it's not three-dimensional or anything. But it went on top of the little circular element. And then, like I said, this is where I'm kind of adding those little tiny hearts. And then that's all I'm going to have to do this, guys. This went really, really fast. I think I got this layout done in maybe 15, 20 minutes max. So I'm really pleased. Here's the slowdown. Make sure you check out the playlist. All the other ladies playing along. And uh, I suspect one or, one or two of them will do actual stitching and actual mixed media. So you will see the more full version of this interpretation, <laughs> I'm suspecting. Anyway, you guys have a great day. And we will see you next time. Bye.